Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to create a scraper for scraping Amazon products. Open Amazon.com Search this keyword. We will scrape products from this page. Are you ready? Let's find a tool from the web store first. Search to picker. Okay, that's it. I am using this version. Click here to install it in your browser. Won't demonstrate anymore. Imagine how we could do this manually. We will open this page. Scroll and scroll. And then manually copy the information and paste it into your table. Once completed, click the next page button. Repeat these processes. Navigation from page to page. After you're done, close this page. From here on, let me take you step by step to build the workflow. Open the extension. Click here. Drag the new tab into Canvas. Fill in the current link. Drag and drop the scroll page into the new tab. Drag the extract data below it. Add click element for page navigation. Need to wait for data to load after navigation. Drag this block into canvas. Well done! This is our manual process. Scroll page, extract data, click next page, and wait for page to load. Repeat these processes. Drag these blocks that need to be repeated into the loop. OK, center the flowchart. The overall workflow is constructed. Next, we will configure each block. Click the scroll page block. No need to change. Click the extract data block. Set the target element of the route. Pick a product. It automatically found 60 similar. OK. Add the first column. Named title. Click this icon. Hover on the product title and click it. Check it is correct. No problem. Preview the data.
perfect. Add the second column. Named rating. Select these stars. Here is the rating information. Not bad. Add the third column. Named reviews count. Similarly, select the number of reviews. Nice! Add the fourth column. Named price. The format is not correct. There is a hidden price here. Now it's right. Preview. Nice data. Add the fifth column. Named cover. Pick the cover image. It is usually an IMG element. Extract it says, or see a tribute. All image links have been extracted. Add the last column. Named link. The link is usually attached to the title. So, let's pick the title. I saw it. Click here to select it. Extract its href attribute. That's the product link. Complete the extract data block configuration. Setting the click element block now. It will click this button. Pick it. Okay. Set up the weight util block. Let's first take a look at its loading type. Click the next page, and only partial changes will occur on the page. So, let's change the type to weight page, until change. Finally, set the loop count. For example, 3. At this point, all configurations have been completed. Are you looking forward to it? Click Save button. Let's play it now.
Well, it is worked. Automatically scroll the page. Auto navigation successful. Data extraction completed. 180 rows of data were extracted. Let's see it. Open a new window. Wow, perfect data. Thank you for watching. Move your little hands and give me a like.